He was so great. You know, the actual story is that Frank Sinatra, they wanted Frank Sinatra to do The Music Man, because Warner Brothers was, was producing it. And Frank was a big star, and of course a singer, as we know, and uh, they, they wanted the name value of Mr. Sinatra on the screen. And Meredith Wilson, who wrote the show, The Music Man, came to Warner Brothers and said, you do not make my movie unless you use Robert Preston. So that's how Preston got the role, you know. And um, I was thrilled, of course. Uh, much as I love Sinatra, I was eager to work with Preston. And I'd seen him in the show in New York, you know. Uh, and he was great. The lovely thing about him, he had done, been doing the show in New York for, I think, a couple of years. It ran. And when he got on the set, it was like he was doing it for the first time. I mean, it was just, you know, everything was fresh and new and wonderful. He wasn't one of those actors who said, well, we did it this way, you know, we, we should do it this way. He didn't do any of that. And Morton DaCosta directed it. And Anna White, the choreographer, was our choreographer. And um, I remember um, the first day, you know, we, we rehearsed the numbers ahead of time, all of the numbers uh, ahead of time, weeks ahead of time. And I remember um, the, uh, the, the li library, you know, Mary and the Librarian, the number in the library, you know, where we do all the moves and everything. And we were rehearsing the first day of rehearsal for that number, and Anna was sitting there. And Anna was one of these people that just said it straight out like it is. I mean, she, you know, no holds barred with her, word-wise. So <laughs> she said, I said, uh, I said, uh, Anna, I said, I, I just have to tell you, I said, you know, uh, I, I'm truly, really not a dancer, you know. I'm just not, you know, I wanted to make sure that she didn't expect me to, you know, do a, a, a tour jeté or something. And she leaned over in her chair. She said, honey, by the time we finish this movie, you'll be the best damn dancer in Hollywood. <laughs> and she was right, boy, she was great. She was great. She, you know, she, was, she worked with me and it was wonderful. And um, I was pregnant with Patrick. And um, I rem the story is, which is kind of a funny story too, um, I discovered I was pregnant about three months into filming, and it took about six to eight months to you know, the film a musical, which, which is what I told you about Oklahoma. They were all, it all took a long time. I thought, oh, what am I going to do? Because this is my second child, and I, I had 10-pound babies. So, I mean, it was mm, not good. Um, so I took Morton Acosta to lunch, and I told him that I was pregnant. Well, he nearly fainted, you know, and he said, well, don't worry about it. We'll do everything we can to help you. He said, we'll build a corset. We'll keep pulling you in and pulling you in. And he said, it's a period picture, so we'll add bows and fringe and flounces and whatever to the costumes. And he said, and, you know, if need be toward the end, well, we'll just shoot you from the waist up, you know. He said, but don't tell anybody. And I said, okay, I won't, you know. So anyway, he did as he promised, and they kept pulling me in and pulling me in and, you know, kept adding and so forth and so on. And toward the end of the shoot, was the one and only screen kiss that we had in the movie, which was the footbridge scene, you know, where we sing the beautiful ballad, Till the Was You, and we have the only screen kiss in the movie. He takes me in his arms and everything. Well, by this time, I truly was very pregnant. I mean, you know, they had me pulled in and everything and kind of covered, but I was pregnant. <laughs> During the kiss, with our eyes closed, arms around each other, all of a sudden, this big kick happened, you know, and Bob, pulled back and he said, what the heck was that? <laughs> I said, that was Patrick Cassidy. Well, the addendum to this story, you know, Patrick, of course, is a singer and actor now. You know, he's doing, on, as we speak, he's on the road doing Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. But his dream in life was to meet the great Robert Preston. And they just happened to be doing a benefit in New York together. And Patrick went and he knocked on the dressing room door and Bob opened the door and he said, Oh, Mr. Preston, I'm so excited. I'm so happy to meet you. My name is Patrick Cassidy. And with that, Bob stepped back three steps, and he said, I know, I know, we've already met. <laughs> so that's what happened, you know, with the pregnancy. It was really something.